I call Sharon Holt Toko Ingoa. I'm the author of Te Reo Sing Along books and I also love helping people to improve their pronunciation of Te Reo Māori. So what I'm doing here is going over the pronunciation of Aotearoa because it was on our um, news last night with the, a bit of a um, call for this to be officially our place name. And I agree with Dame Nader Glavish about that, that it doesn't need to be really made any kind of decisions about it. It already is the place name for New Zealand because the Māori people called it that originally. Um, so uh, the my particular thing is that I'm actually going to try and say Aotearoa instead of New Zealand or Aotearoa New Zealand and I'm going to try and write it those ways as well because that's my own challenge to myself. You can decide what, what whether you want to do that as well. But if we're going to pronounce, uh, call our place name Aotearoa, we should pronounce it correctly. And one person on the news last night who didn't do that was Simon Bridges. So he was saying Aotearoa and a lot of people call our country Aotearoa when they say that. Um, and that's not right. So let's follow the pronunciation rules. A, E, I, O, U. A, O, E, A, O, A. So that's the pronunciation of the vowels. And then we just put a break after every vowel. So if you know Simon Bridges, please let him know how to pronounce Aotearoa. And anyone else who thinks it's Aotearoa. Because there's no point changing the name or making, uh, challenging ourselves to pronounce it as Aotearoa when that isn't correct. It's really important to respect the Māori language, the Māori people, the Māori land, and in this case, the original name of our nation. Aotearoa. So when we put these breaks, it makes it really easy. We can see that a, e, i, o, u means this has to be a, this has to be o, this has to be e, a, o, a. Aotearoa. 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 It's not hard. Kaki te.